Pro Shop Operators, Chris Sand here with Mike Magling. We're gonna to talk today about T45, a fast acting ball plug. Mike, you and I, we've been in a lot of pro shops for many years and we've heard all the horror stories about ball plug. The best ball plugs, it takes overnight. And then let's not even get into talking about quick plug, right? Quick plug bubbles, right? We have to plug a whole three different times. Not with T45 though, this fast acting ball plug. It doesn't matter if it's a seven eighths hole or an inch and a half hole. This one to one mix ratio is gonna allow you to pour it, plug it in one step, right? This is gonna be awesome. So Mike's gonna take you back into the Pro Shop and show you how this is done. So we're here in the TurboTech Pro Shop and we're gonna go over our new T45 Fast Set Ball Plug. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure you do is that you have really, really sharp holes. Whatever it is, whether it's straight off the press and you open them up a little bit, take your bevel knife, that's fine. But you wanna make sure you have some sharp holes to start. After that, you're gonna take your plug dam. You can use any universal plug dam and you're just gonna put it right over those holes. Make sure you give a little firm press and make sure that there's no air coming out when you, you push your hand on there so there's a little bit of suction kind of coming back at you. Once you have your plug dam on, you can go ahead and set this ball aside. You're gonna then take your two bottles. We have a part A, which is the hardener, and then you also have the part B, which is the resin. You're gonna take our new cups that we have. This ratio is a one-to-one -one ratio. So no matter what, you're not gonna have any waste when you're done, as long as you're pouring them into two separate cups, you're always gonna be able to use the entire bottles of the T45. There's absolutely no waste in the material. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your part B, which is your resin. You're gonna open up our handy motor oil bottle here, and you're gonna pour it into our clear cup. Close that back up so we don't have any spillage. And then with the part B is where you're going to add our color. So we do have a black ball over here, so we're gonna take our black dye, and we're just gonna add two or three drops of the black dye into our resin. Next, you're gonna take our new swizzle stick. So the reason for the clear swizzle stick is we found that in our testing that the wood actually had moisture and that's what creates a lot of bubbles when you're getting your plug to cure. So by taking this plastic stir, you're gonna eliminate a lot of the bubbles. I'm gonna take my cup and I'm gonna give it a stir for about 30 to 45 seconds. But depending on the environment that you're in, you wanna feel the, the, the plug get a little bit warm once you take both mixtures. But just as far as uh, stirring the, the color in, 30 to 45 seconds to make sure you get it nice and even in there. Once I've stirred that nice and even, I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna take our part A, which is our hardener. I'm gonna open this up. And I'm gonna make sure that I get the equivalent amount from this cup into the other cup. And we're gonna slowly pour that into here. We're gonna make sure that that matches. I'm a little short, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more you wanna make sure that that's very, very precise because this is a one-to-one -one ratio and you wanna make sure that the amounts are exactly the same. I'm gonna close this back up just so we don't have any spills. And then I'm gonna take the hardener and I'm going to pour it into the resin. Once I've poured all of that together, I'm gonna to give it a good stir for about 45 seconds to about a minute. And as I said, depending on the environment, you wanna feel that just get a little bit warm before you stop the mixing. Now, while I'm mixing this, notice I'm not vigorously mixing this. I'm not stirring it really hard. I'm not being aggressive with it. Just nice, even mixture. Kind of give it a figure eight motion, swirl it around a little bit. As you're starting to get to that 45 seconds, I'm starting to feel it get a little bit warmer. So I'm gonna continue here just for a few more seconds. Once that's mixed, I'm going to set that aside. I'm gonna pull my ball back out, making sure my, my uh, plug dam is nice and secure. I'm gonna take the plug. I'm gonna make sure I get it nice and level. You wanna make sure that it's level so that the plug covers the entire ball. So I'm gonna slowly pour into each finger hole. And then as both fingers are filled up, I'm gonna make sure I top it off just to make sure that I get that plug dam to be covered all the way, almost to the very top. And after I've leveled the ball out, we're gonna wait about 45 minutes for that to dry. Once it's dry, we're gonna take it over to our press and we're gonna cut it down. So we're on the press and it's been about 45 minutes since our T45 has cured, so we are going to now cut it down.
Awesome. Okay guys, we have our finished product right off the press. We've cleaned the glue off a little bit. As you can see, that black matches perfectly. This is gonna change the way you plug things. 45 minutes, cut it down, right back to your customers.